Hello friends on YouTube, we're back today, I'm sorry it looked kind of ratty, I just went to the store on my bicycle, and the wind, and everything, but I had a thought, I wanted to talk about sauerkraut, so did you know it's extremely easy to make sauerkraut at home? Now, you can buy sauerkraut, and it's easier, and with the sauerkraut, in the process of making it, it does smell. So, store-bought sauerkraut can be a good option. However, it usually has a bunch of salt in there. I don't know. For people who are watching salt, that may be a problem. Um, sometimes there are other things added. Sometimes there is vinegar added. But at home, you can make Salt free sauerkraut. That's literally just cabbage and water. Now, I've been making some sauerkraut. This one in particular has been going almost a month. I figured about three weeks. Oop, three weeks to a month is enough, but all you do is you slice, you get a head of cabbage from the store, or your garden, or wherever you acquire a head of cabbage, and some jars, it doesn't matter what kind of jars, I mean, preferably glass. Glass is always better than plastic. But one head of cabbage, some jars, and a knife. You'll need a knife. You just slice the cabbage up and you put it in the jar with filtered water. You cannot use straight tap water because the chlorine in the water will kill the bacteria fermenting your sauerkraut. But filtered water, rain water, spring water is best, but at least filtered water. That goes in there, you make sure the cabbage is all submerged in the water. You can, they make little weights, or of course you can slice one leaf of cabbage to put on top of your jar, and that can be the holder for all the little sauerkraut shreds, that's what I do. You take your sliced cabbage that's in the water, and personally, I stick it outside because it gets stinky after a few days, but literally wherever you can just put this on the counter for a month if you want. It does get stinky, like very. Everyone will know that you're making sauerkraut if you do that. But that's it, and then you just wait. And a lot of sauerkraut recipes on the internet call for adding salt and mashing it up and I didn't want to do that so 
you can just take, sorry, mosquitoes, but you can just take spiced cabbage and put filtered water in it, and then it'll do its thing. It's mine. And that's enough. Okay, stay tuned for more. Bye!